Hello again Remodelaholics! This week we're talking all about building with 2x4s and other structural lumber and we're back today to share a beautiful farmhouse style bench built by our contributor Crystal from The Weathered Fox. Have you ever built with 2x4s or similar lumber? Share your 2x4 and structural lumber projects in the comments or on social media using the hashtag 2x4 and more. We'd love to see what you've built. Crystal loves farmhouse style and she's great at doing it all on a dime too, so we're excited to share how she built this bench. See more of Crystal's projects on her website and channel linked in the description box below. This beautiful bench is easy to build and all you'll need is two 8 foot 2x8 boards, a jigsaw, and a Craig Jig pocket hole jig. Have you ever used a pocket hole jig before? This is a great first project. You'll start by cutting two 18 inch pieces off of your two by eight boards. A miter saw is the easiest, but you can do it with a jigsaw or have the boards cut at the hardware store too. These four cuts will give you four 18 inch pieces for your legs and two remaining longer pieces for the seat of your bench. Next, you'll cut out the shape of your legs from the 18 inch pieces. You can get a template over on the blog at remodelaholic.com or just freehand it. Draw the pattern on each leg, then cut it out using a jigsaw. Now is a good time to sand down any imperfections in your cutting job, but also remember imperfections are right at home with farmhouse style. Next, use your Craig jig to add pocket holes to one side of each of the legs as shown. Apply construction adhesive and clamp the two leg parts together to form the arch. Be sure to wipe away any excess adhesive and then drive a pocket hole screws into the pocket holes. Repeat this for the other leg. Now it's time to make the bench seat. Drill pocket holes about six inches apart down the length of one of the seat boards. Apply the adhesive, clamp the boards, and drive the screws to hold the boards together. Now we're ready to put it all together. Measure and mark seven inches from each end of the bench top. Drill pocket holes in the top of each of the legs and add your adhesive, clamp, and screw. Once the adhesive is thoroughly dried, it's time to finish the bench. You can paint or stain it in any way you choose from a natural wood stain to a bright colored paint. Tell me in the comments how you'd finish this bench. Crystal used a chalk style paint in light gray painting just one coat with varying thickness to create a distressed finish. Then once the paint dried, she rubbed some weathered wood stain all over the surface, enhancing the grain of the wood and aging the paint color. But remember, a little bit goes a long way. Add your sealer. Find your bench a home. Then take a seat and pat yourself on the back for a job well done. If you're ready to build another bench, check out this easy 2x6 bench or this angle leg bench made just from one sheet of plywood. 
Thanks for watching. Please be sure to subscribe below. We can't wait to share more projects with you. And be sure to give Crystal a thumbs up. See you later.